Welcome to DriverStore.com. Uh, today we're going to be oil cooling our first PC. Okay, here we got a very, very old Dell. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this at home unless you have a Dell. Because, well, we don't like Dells. And the coolant we're going to be using is mineral oil because it's non-conductive. And that will allow us to submerge the entire motherboard and all the components in oil and uh, keep it nice and cool. So we got everything hooked up, got the mouse, keyboard, everything going in there, AGP video card. Um, now the CPU doesn't have um, the cooler set on very well because Dell decides to rivet the uh, the bracket the bracket right onto the uh, motherboard tray. So you can't really remove anything unless you uh, kind of tear it all apart. Then we got our hard drive under here, CD drive. Um, we're going to be starting it up and installing a, uh, a fresh version of Windows XP. Got the monitor here. And uh, just to show you guys, we're going to be doing a little test with the multimeter um, to show that it is, in fact, non-conductive. We're going to set the multimeter to ohms. Stick the leads in. Let's see. Even at the highest levels. Nothing. But if I take them out and touch the leads together, hopefully it'll connect. Yep, there we go. And you get zero ohms. Oil. Even if you get really close, it's still it's a solid Great. current shield. Unless you touch them together. Like that. Okay, so. great. Okay, now we're going to begin the process of dumping in the oil. So we're just going to pour this stuff all over the top. Feels so wrong. But it's a Dell, so it's all right. <laughs> well, if it was gasoline, then it would feel so right. Okay. We need a match. That's step two. Okay. Just cover everything nicely. I probably won't have enough to make it to the top of the video card. Yeah. A decent amount, at least. Yep. Yeah, it was really fun uh, checking out uh, at Walmart because this stuff is also a laxative. So I got some pretty funny looks from the uh, cashier lady. <laughs> Such a mess to clean up. Yeah, it is. You know, you have like two speakers chilling out here, too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna blow up. <laughs> Hopefully not. How many are left? Well, at least you can't smoke. Where's the ramp? Right there. It's submerged. Oh. <laughs> Don't look like the slot. <laughs> Um, you got like a big glass jar or something that we could like stick in there to raise the level, maybe? Mm, something. Okay, now we're going to stick in some uh, stuff to raise the level. Hopefully we won't unplug anything. I'll raise it a little bit. It's about to die, the video car. Okay, good. I can't forget the shot glass. There you go. <laughs> okay, now for the moment of truth. Let's see if we post. We got lights on the motherboard. Blank? Yeah, there's one right there. Yep. 
switch. We got a GPU fan going. Lights. Hopefully that monitor works. It was in my car for like a month. In the negative hey, 15. It's posting. Yep, nice. Previous fan failure. On to continue. We have no fans. Actually, we should be in the BIOS. Let's get a close up shot of the GPU. This is battery voltage low. See the video card fan chugging along? <laughs> yep. Quite a bit of heat capacity that we just dumped in there, so that should be good for a while. Now, with most of the, uh, the systems that you've seen on like YouTube or other places, they just have massive oil tanks and no way to really get rid of the heat once you uh, get it absorbed by the tank. Now, um, I mean, obviously that's going to be a problem because eventually the heat will just build up and it would be like not having any kind of cooling system at all. So um, you could very easily make some like heat pipes going from this to um, say the outside where it's probably about like 10 below zero. I don't think this BIOS has a, a hardware monitor. <laughs> How are you supposed to see your, your temperatures on your Dell? <laughs> <laughs> You're not. Oh. Looks like we're gonna have to install some software to figure out what, the, what our temps are gonna be. If they even have the hardware installed on the motherboard to be able to monitor that, because I mean, it is Dell we're talking about. Okay, so we got it to boot, and uh, Windows is going. It's probably gonna take quite a while to get that fully set up, so. Check back when it's almost done. Like Heat sink is still well below I body temperature. Put one of these in there to circulate it a little bit. Probably yeah. doesn't make a difference. The oil is quite a bit cooler. Nope. Okay, so since it's a Dell, it's of course being a piece of crap, and uh, we're having a hard time getting it to boot properly. So we're just trying a bunch of hard drives. So I had to stick a fan in here and it just so happens that it like sucks the oil up and shoots it right onto the uh, uh, heat sink, so that should keep it nice and cool. And also the air bubbles should um, eventually when they pop uh, dissipate the heat, which I mean it's good for this little test setup, but eventually we want a, a totally submerged system with completely quiet fanless cooling. And uh, that would be the goal of the, the project. So there's a lot of circulation there. Okay, while we got the uh, windows installing, we're going to do a little test to see if we uh, contaminated the oil with a little bit of Arctic Silver paste, which is the uh, CPU um, heat sink paste. Um, we're going to see if it will make the oil conductive. Um, that would be an important thing to find out before we, say, take a high-powered computer and just like stick it in heat sink and all, and the uh, um, Arctic Silver slowly comes out. So we'll drop a bit in and uh, mix it up and test it with the multimeter. Okay. Well, it should be like an oil binder, so it should. Yeah, it's stick to the bottom. It is coming apart there. There we go. Okay, you can see we got it pretty well mixed up. It's a nice gray goo. That should be good. 
set it to the highest level of resistivity, multiplier times 10. Let's see if we get anything. Okay, so the needle moved a little bit. Did it? No, I guess not. Let's touch it. Yep, there we go. No, it's, it's still pretty insulated. Hmm. Well, that's a really good sign. Mm -hmm. You want to get really close to touching them. Let's see if there's oil on them. You see the. You can see it form a little gap. But even so, it doesn't. With that little capillary effect, even so current doesn't travel through the oil. Let's see it. Even when it touches, it still insulates it very well. Great. Okay, so it would probably be safe to just uh, put existing computers with uh, silver thermal paste on it um, into a submersion system like that. And Windows is about to reboot. Okay, Windows is actually installing on this drive, so we should be good to go. It's gonna take a little while. Yeah, the oil is much cooler than before. These little air oh, bubbles. Oh, wow, it really is, yeah. The air bubbles that are forming are uh, wicking away the heat. And, uh,. That's way cooler than if it was just like an air-cooled PC. The hard drive is actually hotter than <laughs> yeah than that heat sink. Yeah. Everything seems pretty stable for a Dell, at least. <laughs> for a Dell. Okay, let's uh, install some utilities and uh, play around with it. Okay, so we got the setup here. Just got the fan kind of jammed in there. All the bubbles, you can see the circulation going around. It's actually keeping it pretty cool. Like the, uh, I guess the bubbles are dissipating quite a bit of heat. The uh, temperature is just hovering over 90 degrees um, for the oil, right at the heat sink. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we're running Super Pi. Just ran a, a half mil. Took 37 seconds. And I'm gonna use one of the higher settings and try to stretch the PC out a little bit more and uh, Let's see if it gets hotter. So directly on the CPU heatsink, we were getting 105 degrees after running Super Pi for 15 minutes or so. Northbridge is 102.4. Yeah. Up a little bit. My fancy calibrated. <laughs> okay, well, in conclusion, the uh, project is being somewhat cut short because this Dell cannot be overclocked. Um, yeah, temperatures no. are pretty good. Um, we were getting 106 right on the heat sink, and then we repositioned the fan and went down to 100. So, I mean, if we had a, an optimized setup, it would be uh, pretty cool. And, uh, I mean, the concept works, and uh, we're going to go from here and build an actual uh, optimized setup for a better PC. Okay. Um, if you like this, uh, click subscribe and check back for future episodes.